um, workshop a couple of weeks ago in Limborough House and we actually ate the leaves. I'm still alive, guys. <laughs> and Bernadette's at the back. So you can eat it, but everything in moderation. We say everything in moderation. If you boil it down, we turned it into a soup. It was absolutely fine. We, we made jam out of this. Just yeah. cool. And what we did was use the leaf at the end. Anyone who's got any health issues, Try and avoid it. If you have kidney issues, if you're pregnant, if you have health issues in general, maybe avoid it. But <laughs> you are allowed to eat it. It's just like stinging nettle. Nettle is poisonous, right? You wouldn't just eat it raw. You would either boil it down, brew it, and make it into tea or add it into your desserts, whatever. Same with rhubarb leaves. You can eat it, but like, like I said, in moderation. And we really enjoyed it. We added it to a soup. We added some potatoes, some leek, and some other vegetables. And at the end, we chopped it in. At the end of the soup, well, we boiled it down quickly and then had it with some yummy bread. It was really nice. It's tangy, it's sorry. Yeah, it's, it's very um, tangy, but very nice. <laughs> Bernadette, if you'd like to add anything to that. Yeah, just we were debating whether it was edible or not. We went with you and tested you when you were right. Yeah. yeah. No, a lot of people come into the garden and you tell them it's a food stuff and they immediately want to rip a bit of the leaf off and eat it. And um, it's not very nice at all. No. But um, also, as uh, Jim was saying, if you ate a lot of it, I can't remember what's in it. What is it? That's I can't remember the name. I really can't from the top of my it's head. I think I wrote it down. Yeah. Anyway, it is about the amount of them. And, and as you say, you know, if you ate too many bananas, you'd be ill. But um, anyway, yeah, so be careful about eating the leaves. And um, yeah. What, what